Hello and welcome to my next video. It's Nico Alef with you again from Arpo and in this video I will show you how to change the default pen parameters of your created stairs in Archicad. As you know Archicad uses the stair maker to create a new stair and uh, it has its own default pen parameters and other settings which may uh, be irritating to you because you prefer some other settings. Let's open the let's open the stair maker panel and you can see the types of stair. I will choose the 10 stair and uh, you can see the default parameters of it. It uses uh, pen number 23 which is saved and it's reserved for doors and windows and other openings. Therefore I cannot change it uh, easily. Also the arrow types, the field types, the visibility and other settings are also ma made from here. I will place the stair and you can see the difference from the stair I want and the stair I receive with the brown. Therefore I don't like the default settings and I will have to change them every time which uh, costs up uh, a lot of time if you do it uh, uh, every time. It's uh, at least five minutes and uh, if you use uh, three or four stairs a project it may cost up to 20 minutes and uh, for every project it's quite a huge time. Now I will change the pen, pen number 23 and uh, pen number 3 to show you the difference. I will change now pen number 23 also. And you can see the doors now are brown but uh, when I change the pen number 23 color not only the stair but also the doors will turn black. Which I want to avoid because my doors are brown. They are made of wood and I don't want of course to make them brown uh, when I can do it other way. Therefore I will have to uh, use another type of pen but uh, this procedure as I told you will cost uh, up to 5 minutes if you are fast or more if you are just learning to use this stuff and uh, it's quite costly in the long run. Therefore I will show you how to change the stair default parameters. Let's go to the free commander toolbar and uh, we'll go to the C, C hard drive, Graphisoft, Archicad 19, add-ons, stair maker and uh, here you can see the uh, types of stairs. The stair I used uh, just uh, in the tutorial is the stair number 10. It is the L shaped stair. But uh, trying to uh, correct the pens directly from the stairmaker.apx file is uh, not going to be successful because it is binary and I cannot change the code. Therefore, I will have to change the elements it uses. And uh, we count the stairs, it's uh, stair number 10 we are interested in, the L-shaped stair, 
and there are, there is a total of uh, 22 stairs as you can see 24 in row, uh, in columns by 3 and uh, a custom stair and in the folder of the stair maker you can see the stairs in with uh, beginning with st and there are 22 and the ramps they begin with sl but uh, in this case we will change the stair 10 st 10 dot gsm its parameters click uh, control plus shift plus o and open the desired stair element stair 10 and now i will change the the stair settings I will make uh, the step uh, length uh, whole number integer. I don't need uh, additional step in the end and change the geometry of the stair. I change the default pen for the cut line pen I, I will use uh, pen number pen number 31 and I change the materials and the fill types And if you want uh, the steps to be a different material, you can go to this panel and uh, of course you will set uh, the lengths based on your liking. It's not uh, imperative that you check the same parameter values as I do, because they are specif uh, specific to my pen set and uh, my companies, but uh, in this case we will set the parameters this way also the railing I will not need the railing in the back in the, on the out, outer side of the stair and I will change also the geometry of the railing And now go, we go to the main uh, panel in which most of the changes will take place. I change the pen number of the visible structure from 23, which ARCHICAD uses for doors and openings, to, uh, in this case, I choose pen number 11, and also the, the fuse, and other settings, which are specific to the companies. Pen set. Numbering uh, will be turned off. I increase the size of the text and uh, 
also the rail axis I will disable so uh, I will disable the rail axis <laughs> I was intending to say I will disable show rail axis but uh, I will just not show it and also the numbering will not be shown on the floor above or below and that's about it I changed the parameters I wanted and now I will press OK to save the settings for the current project. However, if you will, uh, intend to use uh, the same settings for other project also when creating a stair, you will need to save the settings for the in, in the external file. As you can see, uh, because I opened in the current project, it uh, remembers the settings for materials, but it uh, doesn't have a clue about what my pen preferences are, which most concerns me. I will now change again the pen, se pen settings and save the stair as a GDL file in the folder I showed you before. We basically make the same settings as before, but this case, in this case, we will save the settings to the external file. And uh, click, of course, uh, file and selected folder, not to the embedded library. And uh, I will find the stair in the add-ons stair maker folder. And uh, as you remember, it is called st10, stair number 10. You can find the name also on the top of your screen. And uh, click save override. And I will show you the effect by going to my default templates uh, where the pen sets are loaded. And of course, I will create uh, two different stairs. The first will be with, without any changes, it's default stair maker parameters. I will choose the second stair, it doesn't matter and uh, place it in the project you will see the ugly brown here uh, brown brown hair brown pen <laughs> and uh, the uh, big uh, big uh, black dot uh, it uh, uses for the beginning of the uh, stair symbol and uh, now i will place the stair number 10 which i changed and you can see the difference. The text is bigger, the stair is in black and uh, gray for the symbol lines. And uh, it's basically how I want it to look.
Now I will show you the difference in section. Just make sure that the section is auto rebuilt model to show current uh, life uh, changes. And uh, just uh, I will place the existing stair with the default pen parameters on the right and uh, the new changed parameters with the stair on the left. And you can see the difference. Actually, if I turn the width of the pens on, the paradox is that the cut line of the stair in this case is uh, thinner than the line of the railing which is only visible and it's not cut and uh, also the fill shall be not white but black for the cut fill of the concrete and uh, in this case I've created a better cut, cut uh, representation I have the remark that uh, I don't like that uh, the stair maker doesn't make any uh, white uh, horizontal cut lines. That's because of the tiling option. And uh, you may choose to disable it. No tiles, but uh, not in real life, only for the drawing. Uh, this will enable us to create also horizontal cut lines, which in this case are missing. But as, as I told you, this is uh, in the stair, uh, stair make uh, parameters and it's not changeable. And uh, this is how you do it basically. I, I'm sure that this uh, procedure will save you much time in the future and uh, you will see very good results with it. Just uh, make sure that you change at least uh, the stairs you use most often, if not uh, all 22 of them. And uh, then, of course, you'll be much more productive in your architect practice. It's Nicole Olive for Marco signing off. I wish you inspiration in your practice and healthy life.